I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. I am really excited for today's review, you guys, because Pure has teamed up with Barbie to create a 10 piece makeup collection in celebration of Barbie's 60th year anniversary. Yummy! I am a Barbie girl, you guys. I grew up playing with Barbies. I love my Barbies. They mean so much to me. So I am very, very much here for this collection. Of course, I'm going to give you a Team Truth style review and a verdict at the end as I always do because I put my Team Truth first, even before myself. That said, I hope you guys enjoy this review plus tutorial of this look that you see here and a verdict at the end. And remember to subscribe if you aren't already. Let's do this, you guys. Look at that packaging. Wow. Inside we have a giant mirror and 12 beautiful eyeshadows all themed in pink Barbie style. I actually can totally see a Barbie look within these colors. I remember my very first Barbie had a very similar purple pink bluish sort of eyeshadow look that I unfortunately removed with nail polish and I also removed her eye. I wish I had that Barbie still with me to show you what I did to her poor thing. This is definitely very reminiscent of the Barbies of the 90s and of the 2000s. And I'm here for it you guys. I'm here for it. This is very near and dear to my heart. So this is the Endless Possibilities palette. $34 signature 12 piece pressed pigments palette. Next we have a signature highlighter palette in the similar packaging. $25 also a nice sizable mirror in this one. I don't know if you guys can see the colors, but basically this is a three shade highlighter. This one is peach. This one is very shimmery, kind of opal colored. And this one is a little bit more on the goldy bronze side. Beautiful. We also have a signature complexion brush, a toothbrush type of makeup brush. Oh my God, with the cutest imprint of Barbie. Hello, that's adorable. I actually already have my foundation on. I have the new Pat McGrath foundation. If you guys wanna check out a review on that. It's up here. I'm not gonna be using this, but I will take this brush with me to LA. And by the time this video is live, I would have already used this brush because I am actually flying out to Sweden tomorrow with Pixie. And I'm so excited after Sweden, we're heading straight to LA for the Pure X Barbie party and also for BeautyCon. I am way ahead of the wave with all of these product reviews. But by the time this video is live, all of these products will be available. But back to the brush, $26 for this toothbrush, makeup brush. It's not really called a toothbrush brush. I'm just calling it that because of the shape and it looks like you can brush your teeth with it. Moving right along. We also have a glitterly pink brightening peel off mask that I have already tried and I am popping up a picture right here for you guys. Boom. I had to put this on the moment that I received it in the mail, the moment that I saw it, the moment that I noticed that it was this pink. Just had to put it to good use, and that I did. This is a very lightweight mask, so you're not gonna get a super strong peel with it. It's just a good pre-makeup sort of prep type of mask. Man, is this color delicious and satisfying. Mm. Also smells very fresh, even though it says that it's fragrance free, there's definitely a very light but distinctive scent. To top off this collection, of course we have lashes. These are in the style Barbie doll lash. I'll be putting them on in this video, but there is a picture of a model right here wearing the lashes. And honestly, she truly, truly looks like a doll. Those look as good on me as they do on her then. <laughs> And last but not least, the fun category. Oh my God, you guys, these lippies are stunning. First of all, look at this brilliant glittery packaging. There's a button on the top, you press it. And boom. Do you see that glitter? And I don't know if you guys can catch this in the camera, but the actual lipstick looks like it's made out of velvet glitter or glittery velvet. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's not something that I want to actually use. It's just so beautiful. I want to display it right behind me. Okay. It's just so pretty. These are actually semi matte lipsticks. Each one is $18. Of course, I'm going to swatch them for you guys, even though I really don't want to, because these are just so stunning. Look at that. And last but not least, finally, we have the Signature High Shine Gloss for $16. Now, all these products will be available on purecosmetics.com on August 2nd. Also online and in-store at Ulta on August 4th. Again, linking everything down below. And now I think I'm ready for some swatches. What do we wanna get swatched first? Hmm, swatch model time. 
Oh, and he's got wine. Oh my God, why are you so sweaty and hot? What is happening here? All right, starting from the top. Ooh, that is a beautiful swatch. And that is my beautiful Bowie. Hi, Bowie. We're filming, bunny. Back to the swatch. That is a beautiful swatch. Next we have, so it is very close to your skin tone, but I think we can still see it. That's nice. Ooh, this one feels different. Wow, Wowzers. that's really pretty. Okay. This palette doesn't include the names inside the packaging. Nice. Testing out this ballerina pink. Wow, so beautiful. Next we have another one of those interesting foils. Wow. Here we have a bright Barbie pink. Here comes that blue. Wow, really nice. Ooh, a glitter. That is a mighty smooth glitter. Another foil shade. Wow. Wow. And last but not least, oh my God, this looks stunning. Wow. Okay. Do a little dance, make a little love. Ooh. Hi. You are an excellent swatch model. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. That was pretty nice. Those swatches were gorgeous. And now I'm perplexed. I don't even know what look to do. I feel like I wasn't ready for all that. Ooh, and also I forgot to show this amazing jewelry box that Pure sent me along with the PR package. Every day I'm sparkling and it has my name on it. And look inside there's all these Barbie shoes. So cute. All right, so let's begin. Just gonna use my fancy eyeshadow primer because I I love it. I'm gonna prime my lids all the way up to the brow bone, the outer corners, the inner corners. You know, this thing would probably be ready to peel if I wasn't doing this the entire time with my hand. So now it looks kind of crackly and I feel like it needs a lot more time to just set and dry. All right, what should I do to begin? I guess I should probably go for the one transition shade that is here. I'm gonna use this big old Fenty brush. I love this color. This is just the perfect tan transition color. I like that it's not orange. I like that it's not mustardy. It's just just a nice tan sort of nude. The pigment is there and it's really easy to apply. I'm also gonna extend that all the way up to my temple. Just flick it out softly and gently. Next, I'm gonna go for the pink, smaller brush and applying that above my fold, but still lower than the previous color. So kind of right underneath the eye socket. I know this is a very intimidating color for some, but trust me when I tell you this color can be worked and it can help create the most beautiful of gradients. I feel like Pink shadows are often misunderstood. People associate pink eyeshadow with pink eye or something unhealthy for some reason. But I think it's quite fresh, especially if you use it properly. I'm just gonna buff out the edge with the previous brush. Also flick off some of that fallout. This is a drier type of fallout, so not something that would stick to your foundation. You could easily flick it off. Next, I'm gonna pick up this really vibrant lavender, which is actually a foil shade, but I'm gonna attempt to apply it right here in the crease. Besides, whoever came up with that rule that you can't wear shimmery eyeshadows in the crease. Who said that? I feel like it's bogus. Besides, shimmery eyeshadows actually have sparkles that have dimension. So if you want to define your crease, if you're actually working to create some dimension, a shimmery shadow would probably be your friend. Anyway, this looks really pretty and I am keeping it. Dipping it into that blue. Whoa. This brush is actually Sigma's Detail Blending E27 brush. And I think it's pretty good for not just the crease, but for also packing on the shadow like I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna use the side of the brush rather than the tip to add a bit of color to my outer lid and also mix it and blend it with the previous shadow. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like this Barbie look is coming together. There's been eyeshadow fallout on pretty much every single colorful eyeshadow that I've tried so far. So this one, this one, and this one. The blue one does seem to have a bit more fallout than the rest. And because it's shimmery, it is sticking to the skin just a bit. So not a complete dry drawback for me because it can be fixed, but keep that in mind in case you really want to go for something dramatic and you've already done your foundation. Might want to rethink that and do your foundation after. For the lid, I really want to go in with this shade. This one's just so iridescent and so pretty. Ooh, that is exactly what I needed in my life. Wondering where I can actually wipe the excess of this eyeshadow. Maybe here? Okay, time to peel off that mask. What am I looking for? I have no idea. Picking up this pinky shade, applying it to my inner corner. This is really nice. Next, picking up this iridescent shade here. Pinch more to the inner corners. And now I think I'm ready for the lower lash line. Go for the pink. 
beautiful. Next, I'm gonna go for that vibrant purple. Just picking it up with the tip of the brush and adding it in very gently. Picking up some of that darker purple, pushing that color into my lower lash line, just so that everything blends in seamlessly. Now, you guys, I kind of stopped taking account for all the fallout that is happening on my face right now. These shimmery shadows do have a lot more fallout than you're probably used to, which to me is not a drawback at all. However, in this instance, it is getting to be a little too much. So I'm gonna remove this lower part of my face and I'm gonna redo my foundation once I'm done with the eyes. So keep that in mind. There's a couple colors here that I haven't yet tried, which is this glitter, also the gold brown and this beautiful black, which actually has some golden green and pinky purple sparkles. So pretty. I'm actually gonna line my waterline with this Benefit Bad Gal Bang dark purple waterproof liner. And then I'm gonna pick up a bit of that black and just gently seal that liner right underneath and also blend out with the purple and with the pink. This black is super pigmented and super sparkly. It's exactly the kind of black that I would imagine in a Barbie palette. I'm gonna add just a slight wing from the bottom using that Sigma Precise Lip Line L06 brush, which works great for the lower lash line. What can I do with that glitter? That glitter is so popping. Just a smidge. Right here, adding that to the center. This is a really nice glitter shadow. It's not sticking to my finger. It's actually sticking to the exact place where I'm placing the glitter, the center of the lid. And it's adding so much more joy to my eye look. So now I'm gonna quickly redo the rest of my face and I am gonna come back for the lashes and for the swatches of those crazy glitter lipsticks. I'm back with a fresh layer of foundation. Still going for that Pat McGrath. Review is available. And now let's add some lashes and mascara. First, I'm gonna do a really thin line of liner keeping it very close to my lashes, not really winging it out. This is just a basic cat eye lining technique that I like to do when I'm wearing false lashes. And if you wanna see this one in depth, I have a video on the three styles of cat eye liner that I filmed and put up for you guys a couple weeks ago. So do check it out. In this instance, I don't want a very obvious cat eye. Matter of fact, I'm just gonna smudge it out a bit on the bottom to keep it a pinch more cash and not so harsh. Next, I'm gonna apply my Better Than Sex waterproof mascara. I don't particularly like this mascara, but I'm using it because all of my favorite waterproof mascaras are packed away for Sweden and for LA. So this is just what I have handy, but it'll work just fine if I'm using falsies. And now I am ready for these lashes. I need my scissors so I can cut these to size. These lashes just might need to be curled right before application. I'm a big fan of pure lashes, so I kind of have high hopes and expectations for these. They really do have a lot of good lash choices that are flattering, so I'm hoping that these will be a hit because these aren't bigger than their typical lashes. Then again, these are Barbie, so oh my God, these are perfect, you guys. These are so pretty. I have a feeling that these are gonna become my new favorite lash. These are cruelty free, you guys. And look how perfect they are with this eye look. This is like the quintessential dramatical wispy type of lash that just flatters any eye shape and any eye makeup look. You are a falsies girl or boy. You need these in your life. Moving right along to the highlighter. I am gonna swatch these three, starting with the top. Wow, next the center. And finally, the bottom. Boom, wow. That's pretty impressive. That first shade is crazy. Since I already have a peachy blush situation going here, I think I'm gonna go for the peachy highlighter, which was actually the most subdued out of all of them, but it's actually quite nice on the skin. And I'm gonna take just a smidge of that topper. I'm gonna apply that sparkle just to the temple. Probably swirl them together and get a nice custom shade. Yeah. All right, and now for the lipsticks, you guys. I almost don't wanna swatch these. These are just so pretty and so unique and they smell so good. Uh, but I gotta swatch them all for you. Wow, wow. This first shade here is called Classic and it's a beautiful matte with golden and pink and purple glitter. And when you swatch it, you can still see the glitter, but it's just a hint. It's not as dramatic as you would think. So this is still, I would say very, very wearable. Next color is Timeless. And this is more of a corally nude. Also with some gold and silver and pink and purple sparkles. Oh my God. Next we have Legendary. Mm -hmm. 
Legendary is a hot Barbie pink with some gold and pink sparkles. And last but not least, we have Inspire. No! Okay, I almost just ruined my lipstick, but it's still intact, thank God. Inspire is a dark grapey berry purple with a lot of purple and gold sparkles. I mean, all of them have a lot of sparkles, but when you swatch it, it's not as many as you think. Mm. Mm. For my look today, I think I wanna go for the classic. It's just calling my name. It's such a pretty shade. So first I'm gonna line my lips. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Super Size Me. I'm gonna roll this one back. Literally such a pretty color. Let's see, if I actually wanna include some of this sparkle, should I use the side of the packaging? <gasps> yes. Oh, this is ingenious. So this is how it works. The sparkle is actually applied to the outside of the lipstick portion. So you could literally just dab it across your lips for a little subtle muted sparkle. I love it. I love this idea. I need to get my hands on more of these because these are bomb. So see, now I wasn't sure if I wanted any gloss, but I might as well just swatch it for you guys. Look at this big giant tube. Ooh. So the gloss is basically a sheer peachy golden with some peachy and gold sparkles. Very Barbie. All right, and now I am ready for my close-up. No longer needing this yellow scrunchie because I am all pink now. I'm a Barbie girl. I am really, really liking this look, you guys. I think it's making me feel very whimsical, very Barbie-esque. I'm ready for my close-up. I'm ready to be a kid again. Been ready to be a kid again. Oh my God, can we make that happen? Honestly, these colors are so fun. It's bringing me back so many positive memories of my childhood. And it's taking me back to a time when I was young and cared free. Doesn't everybody want to feel that? I think this Barbie collection in collaboration with Pure does exactly that. And I am here for this look. I'm loving my sparkly eyes. I'm loving the matte lips with a hint of sparkle. I think the highlighter is pretty bomb and pretty poppin'. Honestly, there's really not much I can complain about here. The lashes are insanely gorgeous and I'm going to continue wearing them because they are stunning. I guess you guys can tell what my final verdict is. It's a positive one. I I'm really impressed with this collection and I honestly want more. I wish there were more pieces, more glosses, more of those gorgeous lipsticks. If I had to recommend one thing for you guys to pick up from this collection, it would definitely be a tie between the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette. I think both are gorgeous. I'm loving the packaging on this. For $34, these gorgeous shades, even if you're not a collector, you gotta get your hands on this. I feel like this is a steal and it is limited edition. So Oh, might want to get your hands on not just one, but a couple of them. These lipsticks speak for themselves. The packaging is brilliant. It's something really cool and really magical that only Barbie and Pure can create together. I am a fan. I'm going to continue using all of these products, particularly the eyeshadow palette, the lipsticks, and the lashes. Yes, these are going to be traveling with me everywhere I go. That is my verdict. Team Truth Style, as always, for you guys. I love you so much. I am so sorry that I I'm so raspy and so tired today. I have a long flight tomorrow ahead of me and I've been packing all day. So I will see you guys very soon. I love you so much. I am going to slide over this way so that you can check out some of my other videos right here. Click on them. Bye guys, love you.